So here's the Sir Grange. How great does it look? So when you're on a high, you're on a high. Uh, this lawn is looking incredible. Uh, it was about three weeks ago now that I applied the ICL product Sierra Form GT along with the Plant Doctor uh, Lawn Lovers Pro uh, liquid products and the lawn has responded fantastically to that, um, especially the granular fertilizer. Uh, that mini prill has worked wonders and the results that I'm getting are just great. So on that note, I want to talk about insecticides. Uh, that's what the video is going to be on today, or based on today. Um, you put a lot of love, a lot of care, a lot of time, a lot of effort uh, into having, you know, the perfect lawn. So if you're spending all that money on, you know, I mean time, products to make the lawn really pop, and grow, and be lush and all those wonderful things, you've got to spend a little bit more money on a product, um, a product called a Celebrin. Uh, that's the product I'm using and it's a preventative for insecticides. Now this particular product only covers certain um, certain bugs and grubs um, but essentially it's, it's, it's protecting from the main ones uh, so armyworm for example. Now I bought the liquid form of this and I've applied it once and I did that approximately five months five months and one week ago. So it's about time that I give it a reapplication. Um, the instructions say, depending on the rate um, that you use, um, uh, can, it can last for up to six months. From memory, I think I used a slightly lower rate, so this is well and truly ready to, uh, to get its next application. Um, so yeah, today's video, we're gonna really, really drum home uh, the importance of insecticides um, because it's such an easy thing to add to your lawn program. Um, that will prevent it from essentially getting destroyed. Um, now, speaking of destroyed lawns, I'm going to take you out the back. I'm going to show you what that's happening with the Sir Walter Buffalo. Okay, guys, this is the backyard. So this is the Sir Walter. Um, now, I've been neglecting this, it's fair to say. Uh, all my priorities gone out the front. And originally I was going to, well, I was thinking about doing a renovation on this and I've decided otherwise. I'm going to actually rip it out. But anyway, what we're, what we're talking about is grub attacks. Now, I don't know if this is getting attacked by grubs. I need to do a um, soapy water test. But as you can see there, the grass is dying off. Now, where it's really dying off is over in the corner here. So essentially, if this is a grub attack, this is what it will look like, in my opinion. Uh, and we're losing some over here as well. So there you have it, that's the, the back lawn. It's dying off, so I don't really care because I'm gonna pull it out and put some AstroTurf artificial grass out the back there. Because I think, in my opinion, um, when we do eventually leave here, someone, whether, whether we end up renting this place out, no one's gonna to wanna to maintain the backyard. So we'll just put some fake turf down and be done with it. Now, back to the beautiful zoysia that I love dearly. Um, I'm going to give it a quick mow now, um, give it a tidy up, and then we'll come back and uh, I'll show you how I'm going to apply the insecticide. And we're also going to touch on soil wetters. And lastly, I'll come back and I'll talk about the lawn program with the, um, with the granular fern and the liquid fern that I'm using and how I'm absolutely in love with it. But the, the point of this video, the main point of this video today is the two products, the insecticide and the soil wetter. Um, we're going to apply them together uh, and they're going to do their thing. So let's do it. You know what I need to invest in? Those rotary scissors. So my next step down the line is to possibly get, um, maybe convert to battery. Not not a rotary mower, but uh, at least one of those like maybe multi-tools. I really want to get one of those, um, I think they're called iDeck or something like that. It's a rotary scissor. God, that'd be so much easier just to come through like that. And save the back. I'll tell you what, the back isn't as good as it was five, 10, 15, 20 years ago.
Right, so before I get into actually applying these products, um, I just want to talk about the spray bottle that I've got. This is just the old El Cheapo Bunnings um, spray bottle. It was the cheapest one you can get, I think it was like 8 or $9 at the time, which was about two years ago. Look, it's great for the price. However, it's not great. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I've been using it, I've been getting away with it, but I'm sure that there's other products on the market that are much more expensive, that are significantly better, that's going to give a more of an accurate spray coverage. Um, but, just so you get an idea as to what your spray is, I like to spray it on some concrete, that way you can sort of see what the fan base is and how much is spraying and what's getting where. So I'll just give you an example of that now. So that's like a full fan there. <coughs> so what that's doing is, that's spraying, it's getting a lot in this centre part here, but it's not getting much out on that side. So then if we change that to a more aggressive spray, you can see that it is a little bit more easier to control, but it obviously comes out in heavy, <coughs> excuse me, heavier droplets. So yeah, basically I need to get a better sprayer. Alright guys, this is the product, this is the Acelaprin. Um, so it's not the GR, I think the GR stands for granular. So this is the liquid version of the Acelaprin. Now on the inside of the label here, uh, I have discovered that what I'm going to treat for is basically everything that it can treat for. Um, but I'm going with the, uh, the directions of uh, uh, caterpillars, including lawn armyworm, black cutworm, and sod webworm. So I'm using a garden sprayer. Uh, it says to use eight mils per five to 10 liters of water per 100 square. I'm looking at 20 squares here, 20 square meters here. So I'm gonna go the higher application of, uh, hang on, no, this says use eight mils. Um, with the other, treating other bugs, you're using between eight and 15 mils. So I'm gonna go 15 mils divided by five, which gives me three mils. And I'm gonna do that by approximately five liters of water. Uh, Cause I know that I can cover five liters uh, on the front here. So that should work pretty fine for me. It did the first time, so it should do the second time. So obviously always read the label, always follow the instructions on the label. Um, with regards to calibrating your sprayer, I know that I can, because like, I do the liquid ferts every fortnight, I will be able to use a whole five litre bottle over 20 square metres. Um, that's a heavy application, and I feel. Um, however, it is what it is. So, that's the one product. Now I'm going to mix that. I'm going to mix that with Lawn Addicts' HydroLink Advance. Uh, good reviews on this product. Uh, ben Sims used to use it um, on his um, on his channel, and so it's basically and on the Lawn Trailing Lord Fanatics page, a lot of people recommend this product along with the um, ICL product, uh, something TriSmart. Um, so yeah, basically this is what I've been using for the last 12 months, and hey, seems to be doing pretty well. Now both these require um, the product to be watered in uh, immediately after. Um, I think it's about three mils of water. Um, so yeah, I haven't mixed these two before, um, but I don't see why you can't. So I'm gonna do it and we'll see how we go. Um, so essentially what I'll do is I'll fill half the, half the spray up with water. Um, I'll shake both these products, apply the required amount, and then I'll continue to fill up the product and then apply it. Let's do that now. The benefits of having a small lawn <laughs> mean you use so very little of the product. It's crazy. So this is a 100 mil bottle at, what, three mils every six months. It'll go out of date before then. Cool. So that's about three mils. So one of these. Just while we're 
having a chat and have a look at the lawn clippings. Look how green that is. That is so green. Oh, the products are amazing. Now, always give it a good blow down. Spend all the money on a product like that. Oh, sorry, a product, a machine, cylinder mower. You want to keep it clean. Respect your machinery. Hey guys, I'll just take you out the back. So before I bought this, I didn't even measure down the side. I just bought it. I've got such a narrow access down here. So I've got these air conditioning units here. So I'm thinking, what if I just spent three thousand dollars on a cylinder mower and it doesn't even fit down the back? It's crazy. Anyway, it does, obviously just look at that <laughs> she's tight there's a tight fit and that's her oh, see that's why I need a new sprayer. A nice battery one would help. Okay, so basically when I always spray, I always work out which way the wind direction is. So the wind's going that way. So it's a easterly? Yeah, she's an easterly. Very light wind, so it's not too, not too serious. Uh, but yeah, you always want to stand um, upstream, upstream of the wind, however it's said. So my spray is quite a heavy droplet. So it's going to really get in there. Now while I'm doing this, let's talk about the benefits of these products. Now I did touch on the importance of insecticide at the start of the video. Uh, and that is, it's essentially a preventative. So what it's doing is, it's preventing insects, grubs, getting into your lawn, eating it and killing it. Now... The product itself was about 120 ish dollars and you're going to get a lot of usage out of it obviously depending on the size of your area but for me uh, this will last me theoretically i reckon it'd probably last me 30 years <laughs> at the usage that i use it um, so yeah look not much money to spend on something that's going to guarantee or near guarantee that your lawn is going to be protected um, from being from being eaten and killed. Now, now the HydroLink Advance is the soil wetter. Now, in my opinion, a soil wetter isn't a necessity. The insecticide is. Uh, the soil wetter is obviously, it's going to benefit your lawn during um, periods of uh, drought and dry periods. Um, it also has the benefit of um, loosening um, that soil profile as well. So yeah, so that's the soil wetter. Um, the benefits are that it's going to loosen up the soil profile to allow for water to get deeper down to the root base. Um, so basically it's like, it's almost like the soil becomes a sponge to water, just sucks it up. So sometimes you get hydrophobic soil. Um, so hydrophobia is what you will see in a lot of um, car cleaning chemicals. It's um, like a water repellent. So it repels water, so it's great for cars, but not great for soil and lawns. So if your lawn is hydrophobic, it's going to do exactly that. It's going to repel water. It's not going to allow um, water down into the root zone where it's needed. So a soil wetter will counteract that and break it. Well, help loosen up the soil. Not loosen up the soil, but it just helps break up that hydrophobia. So yeah, so for me, a soil wetter isn't a necessity. Um, it's more of a luxury and uh, yeah, so it's a very affordable product and I just apply it just because I can. All right guys, that is, that is it. Oh no, that's where the, oh yeah, that's right, that's where the dead grass was from the bin. It's another point, don't let a hot bin sit on your lawn, it'll burn it, especially zoysia. Okay guys, that is that. That is the double application of the insecticide and the soil wetter. 
So stay tuned for the next video to see if I've killed my lawn. <laughs> no, I won't have. I wouldn't have killed it. Um, last thing I will note is with the insecticide, the acelaprin. Um, if you're treating, sorry, if it's for preventative measures, you water it in immediately. If you're trying, if you've already got a lawn grub in your lawn, like army, army, army worm. Um, you can water it in 24 hours later because it can actually help kill um, that grub as well. Um, but because I don't have any, um, it's not being, it's not under attack currently. Uh, I'll water it in immediately. Plus, the HydroLink Advance needs to be watered in immediately as well. Hence, why I've applied them both at the same time. And having the soil water um, mixed in with the acelperin, um it might actually help get the acelperin down into the root base a little bit quicker. So she's a win-win. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.